वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी हियर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन हियर क्वेश्चन इज प्रूव बाय द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन फॉर ऑल एन बिलोंगिंग टू द सेट ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर कैपिटल एन हियर स्टेटमेंट इज थ्री टू दी पावर टू एन माइनस वन इज डिविजिबल बाई एट ओके वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यू सी वी कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंगली सो लेट अस सी द सॉल्यूशन here this is given mathematical statement and you know mathematical statement is denoted by pn so here pn is 3 to the power 2n minus 1 is divisible by 8 so we have to establish it we have to prove it and we'll do it by the principle of mathematical induction as we have discussed in previous videos so many times that uh, principle of mathematical induction can be applied for solving this type of problem and we have to take only three steps first step you have to show that p1 is true means whenever we will put n is equal to 1 then it should be true it should be correct it should exist okay p1 is true second step you will assume that pr is true putting n is equal to r this statement will be true for n is equal to r that we have to assumed and third and last step we have to show that p r plus 1 is true we will put here n is equal to r plus 1 and we will show that is the main important uh, step last step we have to show that this is divisible by 8 so let us see the solution here step number 1 as we have discussed we have to show that p1 is true here we have to show that p1 is true and for this we will put n is equal to 1 so putting n is equal to 1 call it relation number 1 so you write here in 1 okay so Uh, n is equal to one. When we'll put here, we'll get p1 is equal to three to the power two into one minus one is divisible divisible by eight. And this is true. Why? Because this is three square minus one eight is divisible by true. So here this is. here p1 is 8 is divisible by 8 this is true therefore p1 is true definitely 8 is divisible by 8 8 1 by 8 isn't it okay and uh, second step you have to assume that pr is true assuming that assuming that pr is true that is pr is 3 to the power 2 r minus 1 is divisible by 8 okay so if 3 to the power 2 r minus 1 is divisible by 8 so therefore we can write let 3 to the power 2 r minus 1 is equal to 8 times of k isn't it because if it is divisible by 8 then 8 must be a factor here so 8 into some positive number k where k is a positive integer you can write here where where k is a positive integer let us call it relation number 2 and third and last step to show that pr plus 1 is true to show that pr plus 1 is true so putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1 we will get pr plus 1 will be 3 to the power by this relation 3 to the power 2 minus 1 divisible by 8 3 to the power 2 into r plus 1 Minus one is divisible by 
8. We have to show that this is divisible by 8. Okay. So, here 3 to the power 2 r plus 1 minus 1 can be written as 3 to the power 2 r into 3 square minus 1. This is 9 into 3 to the power 2 r minus 1 and this is 9 into 3 to the power 2 r minus 9 plus 8 minus 1 can be written as minus 9 plus 8 there is no issue and first two term can be written like this 9 is common 3 to the power 2 r minus 1 plus 8 okay and by relation number 2 3 to the power 2 r minus 1 is 8 k so 9 into 8 k okay so this is equal to 9 into 8 k plus 8 and this can be written as 8 will be common so 9 k plus 1 this is divisible by 8 because here 8 is a factor so which is which is divisible by 8 as 8 is a factor so it has been proved that this is divisible by 8 okay so therefore we can write therefore pr plus 1 is true this is last and final step so we have done all the three steps first step we have shown p1 is true okay p1 is true second step we have assumed that pr is true and third step we have shown that pr plus 1 is true so that's all so at the last we write one line statement here therefore by the principle of mathematical induction therefore by the principle of mathematical induction pn is means this pn given statement pn is true for all n so proved this question has been solved here so very interesting question very important question and uh, i hope you have understood it very well so we will see some more problems from the same topic in uh, uh, videos to come so keep enjoying mathematics learning and keep watching these videos thank you all the best